talk about the best tier 2 mid or professional level cloud and data center certifications for the year 2022. This is for those who are already working as a cloud and data center professionals and want to improve their skills so they can move to another level. Or those individuals who are already working in IT and want to shift to a more cloud and data center focused role. Cloud and data center career is broad. That is why I group the certifications into multiple paths. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada. And what is my qualifications doing this video again? I have over 60 IT certifications and it keeps growing. I started my career as a web programmer and became a web and Linux administrator, then a network engineer then a security specialist, then a solutions manager, became a global instructor and traveled the world, been a hiring manager multiple times, helped thousands of people build their IT career and helped them move from their poor countries to the United States, Canada, Australia, UK, and Singapore. I am your career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, three venture tutorials in cybersecurity, three venture tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. cloud computing. These are vendor-specific certifications. We will be focusing on those giant cloud service providers. First, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional. This is probably the second most popular cloud computing certification, as it's the upgrade of AWS Solutions Architect Associate. And of course, AWS is the biggest and most popular amongst any cloud service providers. Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud also have Solutions Architect Professional certifications. These are the three biggest professional level certifications. And as much as I want to add another cloud service provider certification, no, I can't. So I would just recommend to go for any AWS specialty certifications like advanced networking. Or you can also go for AWS Certified SysOps Architect Associate, even if it's just an associate level cert. The only certification exam in the list that has a prerequisite is Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions Architect. And the prerequisite is Microsoft Certified Azure Admin Associate. For AWS and Google Cloud, you can take all certification exams directly. All certification mentions are multiple choice written exam, and it covers design, optimization, migration, continuous improvement, and operations. It's still based on the basic pillars, compute, networking, and storage. Second path, data center, but focusing on hybrid cloud, which means topic includes integration of both private and public cloud. First, Cisco CCNP data center. Well, I can say it covers a lot from servers to switches to software defined networking to storage, virtualization, cloud, etc. So, before the rise of cloud computing or prior 2016, this is the hottest certification track. And this complements VMware certifications. The most popular VMware certification is. VMware Certified Professional or VCP. And optionally, you can also take the more advanced certification, which is VCAP or VMware Certified Advanced Professional. The most popular track is Data Center Virtualization or DCV. Next, F5. F5 is one of the most important piece in data center. Why? Because users or clients doesn't directly communicate to servers. Traffic is sent to application delivery controllers. So we have F5 CTS or Certified Technical Specialist in LTM. Okay, it's part in the list. 
uh, which is the local load balancing function of F5 Big IP. And optionally, you can also take F5 CTS in DNS, which is the global load balancing function of F5 Big IP. So, so far, we have switches, servers, SDN, virtualization, and application delivery controller. I had a hard time choosing the fourth one. The four storage solutions are huge. We have NetApp, EMC, Pure Storage, um, but it's getting less and less popular. It's less and less in demand. How about Juniper? We have GNC IP in data center, but not so in demand. I'll have to go with Arista Certified Engineer or ACE. It can be level three, four, or five. Though not as popular as the three vendors mentioned, Arista's role in software-defined networking and hyperscale cloud networking is huge. It's safe to say that the cloud as we know today wouldn't exist at the scale that it does without Arista switches. Third path, cloud developer. So the certification structure of Google Cloud is a bit different compared to AWS and Azure because in Google Cloud, we have associate level, which is the associate cloud engineer. Okay, so this is associate level and the rest are mid or professional level certifications. But in AWS and Azure cloud developer certifications, there are all under associate level. But I think it's still okay putting them in mid-level as they recommend having at least one year experience as a cloud developer before taking this certification exam. So, all three cloud developer certification covers cloud native APIs and services, SDKs, CI/CD pipeline, and code modules. But the Google cloud developer certification is more advanced and it covers Kubernetes. For Cisco Certified DevNet Professional, this consists of two exams. The first one is DevCore and another exam, which is the Concentration Exam. And I recommend to take DevOps or DC Auto, which automates data center appliance like Cisco servers, Cisco switches, software-defined networking, Cisco ACI, using tools such as Python SDK. Fourth. And final path, DevOps. First, AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional. Before, you are required to complete both AWS Certified SysOps Administrator and Developer Associate certifications. Now you can take DevOps Professional directly. It's the same with Google Cloud Certified Cloud DevOps Engineer. For Microsoft Certified Azure DevOps Engineer Expert, there is a prerequisite, either the Certified Azure Administrator Associate or the Developer Associate. All three certifications covers CI-CD pipeline, cloud native services monitoring, infrastructure as a code, cloud debugging, containers, and a little of security. And speaking of containers, the core component of DevOps is Kubernetes the container orchestration tool. And the most popular Kubernetes certification is definitely CKA or Certified Kubernetes Administrator from Linux Foundation. It's a two hour intense hands-on lab exam. There is no prerequisite, but familiarity with Linux is highly recommended. For cloud computing, developer, and DevOps certification path, I can't tell which cloud service provider is the best for you, as this is more of a personal preference or your employer's preference. But AWS is still the most popular and Google Cloud focuses more on Kubernetes. Also, there are various cloud certification specializations, such as networking, security, machine learning, etc. We'll talk about this in another video. Unfortunately, only Cisco, VMware, Arista, and Google Cloud have expert level certifications. So we will delay the vlog 
for the best cloud and data center expert level certifications.